hello guys welcome to my channel in this video we learn how to set up local in laravel application with infium laravel generator it's pretty easy let's uh, install one laravel application first laravel new So application created successfully, let's navigate on directory. Let's set up database first in environment. I already created database fresh database in MySQL. Now we need to run default migration. Migration done successfully. Now we need to set up Infium generator in our newly created application. So let's add these packages in composer.json file. We need to add this one more package. It's not required, but I add it. One more package we need to add because Laravel what scaffold moved in separate package it's called laravel ui so we need to add laravel ui for authentication because laravel generator uh, depend on this package so we need to install it so i add here Let's open terminal and fire composer update because we had few packages in composer.json file. So composer is updated successfully. Now we need to add this aliases in app.php file which is located in config directory and you need to add here now we need to publish the infium command so let's publish vendor first whole file published successfully laravel infium generator provide uh, one option for localization in config file so you can change it if you want to localize then you need to make it true you can find here by default localize is false but if you want to use localization then you can make it true let's publish infium stuff you can use a simple publish command with localize option everything is published now you can publish the layout with localize option so you need to fire this command for localization let's fire it you can see here everything is published with local 
so let check in editor first what published or not you can see here all the views are published which is required with basic setup of infium generator now one more thing we need to remember we need to generate basic auth of laravel because we install laravel ui so we need to fire this command so let's fire it first we specifying no because we already generated all this file with infium generator so i skipped all the blades right now let's run the application in browser you can see here login form appear we need to register first one user film generator provide english language by default if you want to change language then you need to change here english directory available you need to copy this directory and paste here for any other language so let's take one example how to do it so let's copy it first and paste here i rename and give es for spanish one more thing you need to remember you need to change local in app dot php file so you can change it here fallback local es and local es now we need to translate this es folder file for example i change full name email everything so let's i translate it first so i change the all value using google translator you need to change everything message pagination password and validation messages all the validation messages are here so you can change it i just change auth for this example so let's check let sign out first and login you can see here the login screen with spanish language so you can change it with this option so it's very pretty and very useful let's generate one scaffold for example so you can easily understand it how to change the language in scaffold so let's generate one scaffold PHP artisan in P O dot scaffold 
I generating post model Field name is title, database type is a string, and HTML type is a text. Field is required. Description database type is text, HTML type is text. No required. Let's exit the process and run migration success fully scaffold is generated and ready for use now you can see here in english directory models generated with local you just need to copy from english to es and paste here and you can change all fields value and translate it English to Spanish let's check here first you can see here post scaffold with in English language so we need to change this value so let's replace it I already convert this all fields from Google Translator and let refresh the browser and you can see here everything is changed this button save cancel and add new everything you can change it in crude.php every default thing is located here and you can change it here let's check add new button from google translator copy it and paste here and refresh the browser you can see here so it's very easy to use you can easy to set up it with infium generator you just need to convert all values based on your language so you can set your language here and you can use it with multiple language and single language as well Please like.